So I started the business six years ago, this coming October, um, and I was, uh, I think, 23 when I set the business up. We are sort of split into two parts. So one part is that I um, design and we produce a range of uh, fine art prints, um, homewares and gifts. So from fine art prints and greetings cards up to tea towels, aprons, oven gloves, um, a whole myriad of products. Um, we sell these on our website and we sell them through stockists. Um, and we sell them at events. And then the other half of the business is I work to commission. So I produce um, bespoke illustrations for private customers, houses, wedding venues, families, um, and then I produce commercial work for businesses um, from uh, offices up to huge event maps. Um, yeah. I did uh, fine art at school, DCSE and A level, and loved it. And I was, um, yeah, really enjoyed it. And I did quite a lot of illustration for my A levels. Um, and then I think somebody, I don't know who it was, somebody told me that, oh, you're never going to make any money doing art. And as a 17 year old, you tend to listen to people or teachers. So I decided to do English at uni because I also enjoy writing. Um, and then I worked, um, graduated and worked in the city for a finance company um, doing foreign exchange trading. And it was, it was really fun and I enjoyed it, um, but I kind of knew it wasn't what I wanted to do. And then um, I worked for an events company for a bit, but that really wasn't, wasn't my cup of tea. So it was that point I was like, I either get a third job in London in two years, which it, it wasn't really appealing to me, or I sort of just do something else. And I'd done a bit of commissioned work for my sister, who was a graphic designer for one of her magazines, and they paid me for it. And it was that point I was like, well, you can get paid for drawing, and I'm good enough to get paid. So I, I sort of took a bit of a gamble. I moved back home, and I... Um, and I started doing the, the house and family commissions and some commercial work, and that's where the business started from. And I've always sort of drawn, so even when I um, was working in London and when I was doing my degree, I used to go on drawing holidays with my mum and used to sort of keep a sketchbook with me. Um, so illustration and drawing has always been part of my life. I just maybe haven't had it as a, didn't do it as a... Um, didn't study it and, then, and, and didn't have it as my first job, but it's always been in the background. Our product range is um, all produced in the UK and where possible we, uh, we use uh, local manufacturers. So our melamine, which is our placemats and our chopping boards, are made in Ketton. Our packaging, so we use, um, try and use um, just paper packaging. Um, our packaging and greetings cards um, and anything we do um, on paper is made in just the other side of Arundel in Barnwell. Um, we do all our fine art printing um, in-house and all our framing in-house. Um, and then our textiles and mugs are done in Stoke-on-Trent, which isn't too far away. So yeah, British made is definitely important for us. Um, and you can, the, the quality is, is super lovely. So what does success mean to me? That's such a tricky question. And I think it can mean so many different things to different people. If I'm learning and progressing and growing and learning from my mistakes and ultimately coming into work and enjoying it, and I think for me, that's successful. I don't think there's one point that I'm like, you know, if I reach that point, that's going to be a success for me. So 2019 is, um, yeah, it's a big year for us. So I have just launched a new commercial website, um, kcbespoke.com, um, which is solely for my commercial commissions. So I've just finished a big project um, for a London company, but I'm not allowed to talk about it. Um, but yeah, if you follow us on social media, I will be able to talk about it from um, autumn time. Um, we just signed a contract with a big um, summer event company. As many of you will know it, they involve rowing boats. Um, so that's going to commence in the next couple of weeks. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm also working on um, quite a few um, local private school commissions. So the illustration of the schools that we're then going to um, print for um, for parents of students and merchandise and things. We've got new products coming out. We've got a new Stamford map, so Stamford map, Stamford map version 2 coming out. Um, that will be launched at Art Open Studios in July. I'm working on some original illustrations. Um, we've already started prepping for Burley Horse Trials, um, which is September. So we'll have a huge range of Burley products, Stamford products. Um, so yeah, there's lots going on. Um, and we've also, um, I've co-launched a club called Club Create with um, Tara from the amazing Freckle Faced Fragrance in Bourne. Um, so it's a group for um, people who run or work for creative businesses. 
We launched our first meeting last month. We had about 19 people turn up to the first one. We did it here. It was amazing. So it was people from photographers to uh, graphic designers to illustrators to candle makers uh, to ceramicists, um, social media experts, um, marketing experts. And it was amazing. And even from that first two-hour meeting, um, we gained so many contacts, made friends. Um, we've got a social on Thursday at... Um, in Stamford, um, and we've got our next meeting in a couple of weeks' time. So hopefully it'll be a lovely tool for um, creative people from the local area to get together, share ideas. We're going to get people to come in to do talks, share contacts, um, learn from each other, and um, make new friends in sort of, you know, like-minded friends who are going through the same thing and, and know what it's like to run a business. Mm -hmm.